Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south, more specifically, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And I am here at one of those wonderful little roadside attractions here in Gatlinburg. I'm at the Museum of Salt and Pepper Shakers. I've been here before, but honestly, you could probably go here a million times. There are so many salt and pepper shakers. You could pretty much spend a week straight in there looking at all the amazing salt and pepper shakers. So we're gonna take a trip inside and enjoy the museum of salt and pepper shakers. So please follow me. So this is the only salt and pepper shaker museum in the world having over 20,000 pairs of salt and pepper shakers. That's 40,000 individual shakers. More than that actually. As you can see the collection inside here is beyond massive. Here's a Christmas section of salt and pepper shakers. You can see that P is a pepper shaker. I guess it's a podium. Maybe P stands for podium. Maybe it stands for pepper shaker. Let's just agree it stands for both. There's a lounging beach vacation Santa. You can actually pour salt out of his uh, belly button. You have so many Santa based salt and pepper shakers. You can see the bag there says salt. The other bag says pepper, both hauling spices. See this, Mr. and Mrs. Claus, some uh, rabbit fur on their outfits. Here's the plastic section, salt and pepper shakers. Some of these are actually my favorites. Looks like a plastic bell pepper up there holding salt and pepper shakers. These are salt and pepper shakers from different states. There's some Florida pepper shakers. Ooh, that is a Bush Gardens salt and pepper shaker. Oh, I like these abstract ones here. The SP would actually be filled with salt and pepper. And these really cool plastic green ones here. I really like those. The little globes here. One full of salt, one full of pepper. These plastic TV sets. There's a piano. And look at this. A Pedro from south of the border. There's Mr. Peanut, God rest his soul. These ones here are from Loretta Lynn's Dude Ranch. Now these are fascinating. We have a combination <laughs> snow globe salt and pepper shakers. Looks like the snow globe's in the middle and then the salt and pepper is attached to the side there. We have a salt and pepper monkey. Always helpful when they, they label them, the S on the monkey's chest and the P on the other monkey. That way, uh, you don't have to think too hard about it. Yeah, a big fan of like the mid-century uh, plastic look. That says World's Fair. I think that's the New York World's Fair, that blue orb. We have an Alamo salt pepper shaker. It's just ones that look like, like some eggs. So you can put salt pepper on your eggs with Eggs. Yeah, a lot of cute animals with big eyes. Nice. Those orange owls, dogs, There's some cats labeled salt and pepper. Which ones? Those penguins. <clears throat> and then this is interesting. We actually have a salt and pepper toilets. Interesting to use toilets to season your food. Heading down these hallways, absolutely filled with salt and pepper shakers. Here's the vegetable section. You can see all the different vegetables. They have them sorted by different vegetables. We can see all the tomato shaped shakers down there. Up here we have carrots. Don't know why that carrot there looks so depressed. See some bell peppers down there. 
And then uh, lots of corn cobs. Corn cobs seem to be very popular form of a salt and pepper shaker. Makes sense because you're always putting salt and pepper on corn cobs. Oh, there we have like a southern bell with a head made of corn. There are corn cob pipes for salt and pepper shakers, although I would definitely recommend against smoking salt and or pepper. Some little cooking elves right there. Love the little vegetable people. Those are turnip heads. I don't know what these little guys are. Pretty, pretty cute looking. It's the chef section. Makes sense because you know chefs work in kitchens and you use salt and pepper in kitchens. And then this one just caught my eye. Um, this one here, there amongst the chefs, appears to be some sort of pig man. It's the Amish section. Of course, who wouldn't want to um, sprinkle salt and pepper out of the heads of Amish people? Not really sure how these work. They're called nodders. It has like two heads sticking out of the top. One being a salt pit shaker, one being a pepper shaker. This uh, exhibit here has some really unusual shaped salt and pepper shakers. Yeah, it looks like these wiener dogs actually have one of the spices in their head and the other in their rear. So you would shake their head for one and shake their rear end to get the opposite spice. These are all wooden shakers. See the tiki heads right there. Got some bowl heads. There's the hillbilly cabin shaker. Probably very popular here in the Gatlinburg area. And I can't help but really like these tombstone shakers. Here lies salt, here lies pepper. Really, really morbid, but very creative at the same time. These outhouses here, says they're from the Lake of the Ozark. Um, it says, I'm full of S and I'm full of P. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's hilarious. Pass the salt, dairy. Don't pass the buck, pass the pepper. Uh, deer puns. Here we have marine themed salt and pepper shakers, all themed after nautical and fish themed ideas. Here in front, see all these little boats that carry salt and pepper. A basket with one fish being salt, one fish being pepper. There's just so much room for creativity when it comes to uh, salt and pepper shakers. Salt and pepper shakers that are encrusted with uh, little tiny shells. And then I really like this one, this, these whales. Uh, so the whale would be either salt or pepper. And then we have Jonah inside the whale and he would be the, the opposite spice. There we have the Loch Ness Monster Shaker. Comes in three pieces, so you have salt, pepper, and then maybe another spice, I don't know. Could it be sugar? Some octopuses. Oh, look at the little manatees. Some mermaids. It's a very simple salt pepper shaker. It's just a shell cut open. It's got a little spoon so you can spoon out the salt and pepper. Some McDonald's shakers right there. These are no hole shakers. I'm not entirely sure how that principle even works. Lobster and crab themed shakers there. It's the transportation section. All different ways that people get around. Cars, trains, horses. You can see, this is, I actually see these a lot. These donkey themed salt and pepper shakers where they have pepper and salt hanging off their sides. This definitely catches my eye here though. This, this looks like some sort of fancy carriage. It appears to be onions wearing top hats. Carrots, it's it's a thing of beauty. Just look at all these salt and pepper donkeys. That one right there is a little different. One of the shakers is actually a pickaxe strapped to the saddle. Also, it does seem that uh, 
Sleepy Mexicans is also a popular theme with uh, salt and pepper shakers. Here they have a Great Lake salt deposit. I guess you can grind it yourself on this stone. There's another stone mortar and pestle for salt. Oh, there's some French sea salts right there. Little rodeo clown. These here are actually mallets that double as salt and pepper shakers. Not entirely sure why you would need to salt or pepper something with such force. Oh, look at this. I got these tea kettle headed people, these anthropomorphic tea kettles. Another one up there. Oh, watch out. This cardboard bear snuck up behind me. These are beverage themed salt and pepper shakers. Of course, we have Coca Cola, the world's most popular beverage. Oh, there's a lemon headed person playing the flute. Some Mountain Dew shakers, some V8 shakers, some Budweiser shakers. See the hanging grape shakers. A lot of monks over here. I guess monks make beer. I think that's maybe why they're in the beverage section. Oh, look at these monks right here. Next to those, next to those nuns. And of course, I've said it before, every southern attraction has to have a moonshine still. There is a moonshine still salt and pepper shaker. Yeah, they have a lot of moonshine themed salt and pepper shakers, as well as some uh, caricatures of hillbillies right there. Seems that some animals are more popular than others. There's a whole section dedicated to chickens. I like that weird angular orange one in the middle. It's a really interesting look to it. I actually own one similar to that where it's a rooster holding eggs, one being for salt, one being for pepper. These are all cow shaped shakers. Oh, look at that big one there, that big plastic one. The cow on it actually has the space needle here in Gatlinburg. So like these red cows, just like that bright red color. These are different dogs and cats. You see these ones right here actually have some fur on them. Could have a good furry, fuzzy salt and pepper shaker. Some skunks down there. Add a little bit of stank to your dinner. So we got a real walnuts, little walnut shakers. Oh, these walnuts are made into skunks and roosters. Look up here, they can see this uh, squirrel with a nut cracking kit. I actually have one of those. These squirrels here have like hypnotic diamonds for eyes. Bear shaped shakers. These bears here have trash cans. They can shake uh, salt and pepper on. Now here's a question, and I should have asked this earlier in this video. You see, some of those have three holes. Some of them have two holes. Does anyone know which one is salt, which one is pepper? I can never remember which one has two holes. Is it salt or pepper? Which one has three holes? Is that salt or pepper? Here we have some more of the wonderful uh, grave themed salt and pepper shaker. Here lies Salty O'Day. Here lies Pepper Tate. I want tombstone salt and pepper shakers for my house. There's an interesting concept. We have a leopard wearing a zebra striped outfit next to a zebra wearing a leopard spotted outfit. Here are some extraterrestrial shakers. We have some UFOs there and an alien head. You can see these frogs here. Oh, look at these ones. I like that big uh, toothy grinning frog right there in the middle. Shakers shaped like fancy goldfish. Up here, I don't even know what these are right here. These things with weird faces on them. Oh wow, that is a butterfly shaped salt and pepper shaker 
autographed by Dolly Parton. So these dinosaur shape shakers here. What's really cool is the ones with the dinosaurs actually wrapped around giving each other a neck hug. You can see those interesting pixie heads down there. And then up here we have some deeply secret Masonic salt and pepper shakers. Some Laurel and Hardy shakers down here and then some pro wrestling shakers. You got one of them is the wrestler uh, giving the other one a torture rack. Other one is the one receiving the move. Got some 80s themed salt and pepper shakers. The Rubik's Cube shaker. There's one for the Pac-Man ghost. And there's some Space Invader shakers. Some interesting uh, carved shakers here. Let me check out this. Some more tiki's as well as some wooden cowboys. We've entered international waters here. Some international shakers. We got some Buddha shakers up there. These shakers are made to look like the king and queen of Nepal. Who would have thought that uh, toilet themed salt and pepper shakers could be so popular? There's even a little uh, little girl pooping in a chamber pot. <laughs> so, do you want to get your salt out of the chamber pot? Or do you want to get it out of the pooping little girl? Or an old man taking a poop, looking like he's having some difficulty. This, this video is spiraling out of control. Here is the largest and smallest salt and pepper shaker. You can see this is just an enormous shaker right there. That's pretty tall as well. And then you can just see the teeny, tiny little shaker down there. They even have some that are small enough where you can wear them on your ears as earrings. It's super convenient so you can carry them around wherever you need. Oh, and these are actually cufflinks that are functioning salt and pepper shakers. So convenient. Oh, we have some Egyptian themed shakers, some pharaohs, some sphinx, some camels. These are all souvenir shakers, ones that will be purchased while on vacation in the United States of America. Of course, Florida, a popular place for souvenirs. You can see the orange themed. Yeah, I just love the Florida ones, that bright orange color is beautiful. We have a Sleeping Beauty Castle Disneyland souvenir, as well as the uh, Statue of Liberty and Empire State Building right there. Oh wow, I've been there. That's the Corn Palace in South Dakota. There is some salt and pepper shakers shaped like the Corn Palace. These are shaped like various states. We got Oklahoma, Indiana, Pennsylvania. More of these wonderful <laughs> tombstone salt and pepper shakers. See some Hawaiian souvenirs there, some hula dancers, some fancy drinks, some pineapples. Mount Rushmore right there. Different states. There's a guy in a car phone. I guess the joke is that the, uh, the phone itself is a car that he can drive around in. There's a Joe Camel salt and pepper shaker. Anyone remember when Joe Camel was everywhere? before he was banned by the U.S. government. Then there is a ashtray slash cigar shaker. Here's some shakers from my ancestral home of Bermuda. This is one of the more interesting shakers in this whole uh, museum, the Mount St. Helens shaker. That part on the top is what it looked like before the explosion. And the, the bottom is after the massive eruption. Oh, here is the um, all the salt pepper shakers. They're shaped like states arranged together to form this great country of ours. There's some very interesting ones. These are all shaped like feet. Feet shaped salt and pepper dispensers. Some are Rushmore shakers. And then there's my boy down there, Paul Bunyan. These Vegas shakers feature this weird clown in a top hat. Some New York themed shakers. One 
complete with King Kong. Here's some shakers themed after abandoned amusement parks. Opryland, USA, that's gone. Kiaga Lake in Ohio, that's gone. I actually flew my drone over the, the ruins of that. King I King's Island's still there, though. This here is the vault. I guess this is very old school, old timey shaker collection. Yeah, these ones aren't as fancy or garish as some of the others, but you can still appreciate the glass artistry. There's some Niagara Falls shakers, as well as those super cool Epcot Center shakers. Now here is some presidential shakers commemorating the presidents of the United States. You can see a JFK shaker. He himself is a shaker and the chair itself was a shaker. Now just stop for a moment and think, where are the holes? Where are the holes to let out the spices? Hmm. See quite a few pop culture creations there. That looks to be a Han Solo Funko Pop shaker. There's some Porgs as well. More Star Wars shakers. Oh, and we got some Universal Monsters. Oh, look at Jekyll and Hyde. That's clever. Ooh, Ouija. Ouija shaker. Don't accidentally summon the devil. Some Wizard of Oz shakers. Nightmare Before Christmas shakers. Oh, look at that. A mummy and a zombie. Here we have uh, Frankenstein kissing Frankenstein's bride and then Dracula kissing his own coffin. Here are official salt and pepper shaker museum salt and pepper shakers. Oh wow, here are some salt and pepper shakers that were actually melted in the horrible 2016 Gatlinburg wildfire. This museum itself was uh, just barely saved. And like we got a ring of Smokey the Bear surrounding it. These are Monster Woman shakers. I guess maybe you're not familiar with Monster Woman. Some alien egg pods. And there's uh, some of those stress reliever things that you squeeze. There's the big bad wolf getting all up in Red Riding Hood's grill. They have these pin boards where people from all over the country put where they are from. These are the 2018 and 2019 boards. Let's add our pins to 2020. It's a little crowded in this area, but we'll get, we'll get it in there. Here we go. Oh, here's my question actually being answered. But which shaker has the most holes, salt or pepper? The answer is it depends. The so number of holes in salt and pepper shaker varies by culture, health, and taste. In the U.S., excessive salt is going to be considered bad for you, so the salt shaker usually has the fewest holes. But in Europe, it's the other way around. Often, both shakers have the same number of holes. So, yeah, no real answer. So that was the Museum of Salt and Pepper Shakers, one of the most wonderful roadside attractions here in Gatlinburg. I actually would recommend this to anyone stopping in the uh, Gatlinburg area. The admission to get in and see all the shakers is only $3, which is an absolute bargain when it comes to roadside museums. So appreciate you guys joining me. If you'd like to see other places I've been, other museums, other roadside attractions, other amusement parks, and other fun stuff. Please check the interactive map in the description. Um, also, if you'd like to help support the channel, consider buying a t-shirt, consider donating to Patreon. A $3 more donation will get you a postcard once a month. But until next time, this one's in the bag.